All right, so today we'll be taking a look at one of Atherin's 45-foot drive-in trailers in HO scale or 1 to 87 scale. Uh, this one, as you can see, is decorated in St. Paul. I believe it's St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, and this is one of the uh, Burlington Northern trailers um, that Atherin has made. Uh, there's a couple. You can, you can get a uh, Portland one, and I believe there's another one. I have three of them, and I think two of them are Portland, and one of them is St. Paul. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the review. So, as you can see, you have a nice, you have very nice decals on here. Uh, and you do have a lot of, of the bolt detail in the, uh, plastic casting as well. Uh, this trailer is almost all plastic except for the axles. Uh, it's all plastic, but, uh, with the plastic, it does allow for a lot of, uh, details that, you know, for the price, if it was in metal, uh, you probably wouldn't be able to get for the price of one of these. Um, but like I said, uh, you do have some nice decals on here. It's a bunch of bolt detailing. Uh, you have some simulated lights, uh, some trailer lights, and you have another one right here. Uh, and then you have some nice decals right there. Uh, coming to the back of the trailer, uh, as you can see, all your hinges and everything are modern. So this the doors would open sideways. This isn't a door that would go up. These doors would open sideways. Um, and you do have St. Paul, and you do have a phone number right there, which is nice. Uh, and it says Burlington Northern Intermodal. Uh, and I believe it does say 110 uh, feet. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's kind of cut off there, as you can see. Um, but still looks nice. And you can see uh, right here, uh, all along the door, you can see all the hinges, uh, which is really nice. Uh, it's some nice detailing. Uh, and then you can see your nice red reverse lights or brake lights. Uh, you have some nice, uh, I believe there's are lights up here as well. Uh, coming to this side, uh, it's the exact same as the other side. Um, like I said, you do have some nice bolt details, and the decals are amazing on these pieces. And uh, it does say Burlington Northern Intermodal right there. Uh, and then coming to the front, uh, as you can see, uh, there's the Burlington, or the Innovative Intermodal Service right there for Burlington Northern uh, and you have some specifications right here uh, and here it says 110 again uh, and I believe it says indoor height um, I can't really see it. it's so small but you guys might be able to read it there um, and then you do have some nice air hookups right here uh, they're nice model uh, they're obviously no airlines it's, it's in OH scale uh, and then coming to the bottom as you can see all your ribs to help support the floor you have a nice jack a nice fifth wheel or, uh, fifth wheel kingpin um, I do believe that this plastic part on the bottom can come off so you could put a magnet in the inside I'm not gonna force it I'm not gonna try to break it but uh, I know there's some equipment out there that um, has a magnet on it uh, so that you could pick the trailer up I know I have one piece myself uh, and it has two magnets on the uh, lifting part uh, you just have to put magnets in the inside of all your trailers and it will hold your trailer hold the trailer up uh, for display now, like I said, almost all plastic. I believe this is the only metal part on here, which is the axles, which is fine with me um, for the price you pay for this. And then you do have a nice jack stand right there. It stands up fairly nice, as you can see right there. Um, but overall, uh, it's a nice piece. Uh, if you're into OH scale railroads, uh, I would definitely recommend picking up a few of these Atherin trailers. Uh, like I said, there's a bunch of different trailers you can get. You don't have to get the ones that are decorated in St. Paul or in, or the Portland one. You can get different different colors. You can find them. Um, not every retailer is going to have them. Um, most online retailers will have a good stock of them. Um, I didn't get these online. I got these from a local hobby shop. I believe I paid somewhere around $20, $25 for uh, each of them, which is about the price that they go for. Uh, through Atherin, or if you find them um, at some dealers, uh, some of them have them for thirty dollars. Prices range uh, and they differ. Um, I would have to say eBay uh, is a good place to find them as well. But again, you, it's eBay, so you're going to be playing. You're going to be paying a much higher inflated price uh, than if you were to pay from a dealer. Um, and if you can't really find a dealer, I would suggest going to Atherin's website. Uh, typing in your zip code and maybe finding a local dealer near you. Uh, but anyways, that's just kind of about it for this review. Uh, it's a nice, short, simple review of a uh, fairly detailed piece. 
uh, one of the reasons why I decided to do, uh, upload, um, film and upload this review is I'm starting to buy, uh, some more 187 scale stuff. Um, gonna try and finish, uh, the 187 scale dial that I've started. Um, so, look forward to that. Um, might unbox some stuff, uh, it just depends on if the stuff comes before I go to work or not. Um, but that's just about it for this review, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Both uh, the links to Facebook and Instagram are in the uh, description. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.